Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Legacy of the Divine Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Website at the bottom here is Llewellyn.com. Feel free to freeze frame on that if you want that information. Supportive Oracle cards are Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards by Tori Hartman. Illustrations, or illustrated, I should say, by Gretchen Raish Baskins. Websites are ToriHartman.com, WatkinsPublishing.co.uk, and WatkinsPublishing.com. What do we have for Virgo? I think this is going to be real. I think this is going to be really good for you, especially even though you have this one card that people object to. Because it's an Earth card, you may do well with it. Um, no, I do think this is going to go well. Because I feel like I'm holding it together. There's been something that um, I keep to the side. I think this is going to work for you. I've been keeping some... I keep something to the side. I don't... I don't feel like I've been waiting for the moment to use it, whatever it is, but I feel like it's there if I need it, and I just kind of, I keep it to myself that it's there. Whatever, there's something you hold, it could be financial, it could be actually a friendship that's very private, kind of like maybe you have a friendship that you just don't really tell other people that you know somebody, maybe it's a very private friendship for whatever reason something you keep it off to the side i see for some of you it's something in your literally in your attic maybe there's something of value maybe there's something of value up there that you just keep there and if you need it you have it, it might be something like that something like that um i'll even go there with this because it did pop in my head maybe some evidence of the past if you I don't know. It's there. There's something there. I feel like as we keep going forward, we'll figure out what it is if you don't know what it is right off the top of your head. Um, and I, I, I don't really see you having any inclination to really use that right now. Whatever that is, it's kind of like it's there, and I just want to keep it there. I, I'm not looking to change that. I'm holding it to myself. I don't talk about it. I feel like I don't... I Literally, I don't think I'm talking about it, that I have it with anybody. So whatever it is, it's very, 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 very private. And I'm like, it's not the time to use it, but I, it makes me feel comfortable that it's there if I need it. What was that? I think a little gnat or something. But now the thought's coming in. You're going to be using, you might be using it soon. The question is, how soon? Because the Ace of Swords is kind of showing up. Something isn't going right. Um, how do I explain this? I don't feel like it's happening. Like something's not going right. But I don't see me like. I don't see you worried. I don't think it's happening. Directly. But I feel like I'm questioning. Is it? Is it or isn't it? Whatever it is, it's affecting you. But I don't, I'm like, I'm not like alarmed. How's that? I'm not alarmed. I'm knowing something's going on. I know it. And I'm starting to think like, all right. If I, if I need to use whatever it is, maybe I need to pay attention just to make sure that if, if I need to use it, that when the right time comes that I act when I need to act. Random energy, there are some up upsets around you. Something's, something's not right here. There's the Three of Swords with the Temperance card. Like, there's a lot of little disappointments, something like that. But it's adding up. It's kind of like there's a lot of little disappointments, but you're kind of like figuring out, like, wait, 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 wait. All these little disappointments are coming from some major problem. It's kind of like, you know, when, when like, the lights aren't working well and the garage has got on the fritz and the TV doesn't seem to be getting the reception it needs to, it's kind of like, well, these are all electrical problems, so we're seeing all these little problems here, there, and there, and there, and there, but they're all electrical, so what? what's that about? Hmm, that's interesting. There, pro It's probably something wrong with the electricity, but where is it happening? 
Um, and then I feel like I'm also kind of like trying to figure out, is it just my house or is it my neighbor's house? And I'm finding out, oh, it's the whole block. Everybody in the block, like things aren't working well. Something isn't right. So it's like, okay, so my house isn't in immediate danger, but something is not right here for sure. It's kind of like that. I know this seems a little weird, but it's kind of like that. And I'm like, hmm, I need to think about what's happening and why is this happening? I want to know why. I want to know why. That's for sure. Other people are going to get upset. I keep getting that too. And I see you holding back. Other people are kind of like trying to figure out what's going on here. But I feel like what I'm doing is I'm like, well, I have my, I know that if something goes too far, I have what I've been holding. I have that. Other people, I feel like, are freaking out. I see the despondent. I don't think that's you. I think it's other people, and people are saying things and doing things, and you're like, well, whatever it is that you have, I feel like other people don't have what you have, whatever it is. And that's also why you're keeping it probably to yourself. Like, I can secure myself. I can take care of myself. I can't help everybody. And that's why I've been holding on to it. You know, it's up to us all to, like, look out for ourselves a little bit, at least for the, to some point. So I feel like other people are getting a little upset. You're like, well, I'm feeling like you're kind of like, I know where I am, and if I have to do what I have to do, I'll do what I have to do. Holding back. Um, I don't know why I'm going through the, the house thing, but I guess I am. If there's something majorly wrong, I almost feel like maybe I have to move. I don't want to, but I feel like things are going to work out for me. Because whatever's going on, there's a major shift going on here. But I also see, like, things are kind of going a little wonky. And it's like, there are a lot of questions here that, are, that don't have answers. I'm realizing I have to go. I don't like it. I have to go. And I'm now starting to question, is this the time to use what I've been holding? There's a change. The change happens. Something ends. A whole new phase is coming in, and I'm like, do I really need it now, or should I save it for another time? Is this the best time to use it, or am I going to wish I had it later and be like, well, if I had held on to this, it might benefit me later more. Um, now is the time. Whatever you're holding back, whatever you have, this is the time to use it. Um, you got the devil with the prayer, which is very interesting. Um, the devil tries to hold on to things that maybe should not be held on to. That's one of the things with the devil. The devil has a lot of stability too. There's an earth energy with it. This is the time. Coming forward, you're going to have a moment where you're going to know, if I'm going to use it for this situation, it's time to use it. But you're going to question, should I just hold on to it in case I need it more later on down the road? This is the time to use it. I feel like that's what they're saying. Like This is the time where it's going to benefit you the most. This is the best time to use it. When this situation gets to the point where it's done and it's moving on, this is when you should use what you've been holding on to. Not immediately. Like You'll know when the time is right. But this is the situation. Like, this is the literal situation you should use it for. And you'll know when that situation hits this, its peak. Like, okay, then I should use it now. If I'm going to use it for the situation, you'll know when that comes in. This is definitely for that, though. Because I see, like, you're supposed to move forward. It's a good idea to use it now. But you're going to be keep you're gonna keep doubting. Like, should I really? Should I? Maybe I should wait. What if I need it more later? I, I want to hold on to it. Like, no, this is why you have it for this moment is what I'm getting. Can you make it through without using it? Yes, but it doesn't have to be as difficult as it will be if you don't use it. It'll be a lot more difficult if you don't use it. They're saying you're supposed to use it here. This is the time to use it. Clearly, you have the right to not. Clearly, that's up to you. But I feel like that's what this reading is saying. Now, this situation is the time to use it. Of course, during this situation, you'll know the right time. It's not like just like now that you heard the reading, like, oh, I should do it right this moment. No. But as the situation keeps unfolding, you'll see the opportunity like, oh, I could use that. and That would make a situation a lot easier, a lot more comfortable. Do it. They're saying this is the time to do that. Of course, again, I'll say it again, you don't have to do anything. So if you decide you'd rather not, they're just saying this is going to be the moment where it serves you the most. And that's that. That's, that's, I feel like that's fairly good. They're trying to set you up for success in the sense of like, you have the ability to make this easier on you. Do that for yourself. 
you're going to try to talk yourself out of it saying, but what if I need it more later? There will always be these situations, but this is going to be the moment where it's going to serve you the best. Okay. I don't know. Why do I have to say? I don't know. I'm letting it go. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.